is a prickly tree. This is a, uh, looks like it doesn't say what type of tree that is. But that, that would hurt if, if one were to run up into that. What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here coming to you all with another fun filled vlog. And today guys, as you all can tell, or at least in the last video if you saw it, we are here at Zoo Knoxville. Anyway, I'm checking the place out. There is uh, the new uh, exhibit that they have called, uh, pre or, uh, oh, what is it called? Anyway, Predator Planet, or Planet Predators. I think it's Planet Predator. But anyway, you guys, since we are here at the zoo, why don't we check it out? It's been a while since I've been here. I kind of want to see some of the animals. So uh, let's get to it. I haven't done this, like the last time I was here, I was in kindergarten. And that's pretty cool looking. They've got it some Egyptian hieroglyphs. Looks like of uh, some animals and some other stuff and whatnots. But I really like that it makes you feel like you are you are in Egypt. Even though this isn't Egypt, this is East Tennessee. And in this first exhibit, looks like we have lions, but I don't see no lions. I do see a cardinal though. Did you all know that if you see a cardinal, that's usually a sign that a loved one is watching out for you and uh, just making sure, I guess, that nothing, nothing happens. I think so, anyway. And he, he flew away. Who knows, maybe we can see the lines in here. Oh, yay, we can. It's a big kitty. A murder kitty. Looks like he's... Or I should say she's looking at something. She's like, oh, I'm going to eat something. But it looks like... <laughs> looks like she doesn't know when it's going to happen. It looks like we've got an... Oh, that's a male murder kitty. I think it is a murder kitty. Yeah. It's a murder kitty. A male. But I don't know what he's doing. He's like... What, what, looks like, oh, he's waiting for the food. Maybe it's just around that time of day. Kitty. Oh, I know it'll work. Psst, 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 psst. No, that didn't work. And looks like they are some, uh, they're not baboons, but they're something else. They're a close relative to the baboon. But I don't see anything. It's a nice enclosure though, but I don't know, let's, let's see what else they have here around the park. I kind of started uh, just right after my, uh, my dinosaur video. By the way, if you all are curious, this exhibit's called Valley of the Kings. And I wonder if you can see the, uh, oh, they're, uh, they're called, uh, rib, rib, yeah. they are, yeah, yeah, they are baboons, my bad, but I, I, I don't see no baboons. Makes me a little bit sad. Up here, it looks like we've got ourselves a, uh, a giraffe enclosure. Mostly I can tell by this big, big giraffe thing, giraffe statue. But I think that they are in another part of the enclosure right now, because I did see them out just a minute ago. Well, they were out just a minute ago. Uh, I don't see any. It's a hyena. Well, well, actually, no, a bat-eared fox. It's got those big old ears. One second. I'll let you see him. He's, uh, I'm wondering if, oh, there he goes. It's like maybe they, they sense the food. Because, you know, that's, that's how often the, Oh yeah, yeah, they're like, oh boy, food! Let's see if maybe you can see them eating. No, no, they're... Looks like they have disappeared. And let me get this straight. This is a southern ground hornbill. And it has a very, very big beak. <laughs> I bet he could really peck at someone. Or maybe he understands the uh, the pecking order of things. 
<laughs> I, I had to. I, I'm, I'm just that way. And this right here, this is supposed to be the uh, the rhino enclosure. Kind of looks like a dinosaur enclosure, enclosure but it's not. <laughs> but it does make you feel that way. But, uh, hmm. These are the southern white rhinos. Unlike the northern white rhinos, which are, I think there's only like two in the left in the world. It's a, it's a pretty hard situation. I'm getting pretty sad. No animals. Like none. <laughs> like apparently this is where the elephants are supposed to be. But, but there's none that's there. No, I, I kind of want to say that maybe the Chattanooga Zoo really is better. Because at least, at least you get to see animals. Oh yeah, and this elephant passed away back in 2024 of this year. The Tonk, or, uh, Tonka, she, let me see, she uh, born 1978, died in 2024. Lived a pretty decent life, pretty long life but at least for captivity makes me kind of sad but then it also kind of makes me even more sad that well I paid $26 and I don't see any animals and at least they have a, a, a photo op of this really cool Jeep admittedly that's that's pretty darn cool get a photo op Okay, now that is pretty darn cool. It's a zip line. You know what? There's no line. Let me see what it takes. Nice. It was only $13 to do this. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Let's do this. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be really really cool so anyway we haven't seen an elephant haven't seen a baboon but this, this was easily worth the 13 dollars and here we go oh oh wow oh wow okay this is pretty darn cool and Looks like it's about to, looks like it's about to, looks like it's about to drop right now. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, this is fun. And right as we got to the top. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. That was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And well, this is interesting. I guess this T-Rex is only half the dinosaur as all the others. Get it? Because cause, cause he's only half a dinosaur. I'm horrible. But long story short, this probably should have gone in the full video on the previous video, but oh well, you live and you learn. And this right here is a Chacoan Peccary. Pessary. Anyway, he's that big old piggy right there. Well, and then there's the other one right there too. They're like, hey, get away from me. Looks like they're they're eating and being thoroughly fat and happy well that's cool looks like they've got a trackless train can't say that i've seen that before looks like it's it's more for the kids and that is a big old turtle am i not turtly enough for the turtle club for turtle 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 uh curious to know what kind of turtle that is looks like it is an aldebra turtle and that is uh apparently some are thought to live over 200 years old so not only do they get big 
but they get super old too. And this right here, I believe this is the reptile enclosure, I think. Um, I'm just guessing because uh, we do have some stuff right here, like the wood turtle and the Blandings turtle. These turtles right here, just kind of mind in their own business. There's one of them. There's another little guy right there too. And well, that guy, he's just sticking his head in the water. Mostly probably because it's just so hot outside. And I wonder what's in this corner. Uh, well, I'm not seeing anything yet. Looks like the spotted turtle is in this location. And the bog turtle. So it looks like this is mostly a, a turtle exhibit. Then again, turtles are, are reptiles. <laughs> okay, this that, that's pretty darn cool. Ow. I shocked myself. So I wonder. Do they move? Oh no. No, you get you can you can walk on them. Although they are a little bit shaky. I don't see no other wildlife though, but that's kind of cool that you can walk on them at least. So, not really seeing so much of animals, but I am finding some other cool and unusual stuff. That's neat. Looks like they've got some frogs right here. They got the American toad, upland course frog, spring peeper. I can hear one of them right there. That's a pretty darn big greenhouse. So maybe this isn't so much for rep, well, not really so much a reptile enclosure as it is uh something else they got the frogs you can hear them calling and it looks like there's some trash right there this right here is a plowshare tortoise but i i, I kind of think that they're they're inside i kind of thought I'd, I'd i'd maybe see some more uh some more wildlife than i thought i would the clayton family that's pretty cool if you ask me i wonder what's in here first bank arc center i think this is the um is that wetland area that we saw yeah it looks like we've got some art overhead so I really like how they have the, the little alligators on the top of it. Okay, now this. This is cool. Just very hot. Yes, indeed, it is very humid. <laughs> Look at the turtle. And hiding right back here is another turtle. He's concealing himself as a rock. Or at least I think he's trying to be a rock. Maybe, uh, I think it's a Malaysian giant turtle that's hiding there. But the fish, oh my God, I love the fish. Supposedly there's a two-toed sloth in here too, but uh, I think it's hiding up here somewhere. I know sloths really don't go all that far, so. Maybe he's here somewhere, just minding his own business. He's like, oh, food, food. And he's, 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 oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't see any wildlife outside, but I'm seeing some wildlife in here, which makes me happy. And that guy is just resting on a, a big old uh, branch. I think that might be a caiman, I think. I think, I don't know, maybe the, uh, the display will talk a little bit more about it. He's just sitting there on the branch. That guy's been watching me a little bit. Okay, well, it doesn't say, but I really like how he's just hanging out there. They have a small, uh, a small display of alligator eggs. 
looks like people have kind of popped them over time or I guess they're supposed to look like they're hatched yeah you see when alligator I think it's alligators and crocodiles but when they hatch they have this little horn on their nose and what it does is it breaks the shell. The shell's kind of like a leather kind of feeling. Okay. Do crocodilians make good parents? Yes, they, they watch their children like a hawk. And uh, maybe I can get down there, maybe. But probably not. Looks like they, they kind of just go to the same place, more or less. That is a big enclosure. Nice fish and... The alligator that's that's right there, he's like, that is the, the biggest cold shoulder I have ever seen come from an animal. Oh look, and that guy's hiding. So he, at least he's not being rude. But that's still really cool. A lot of interesting little fish. Kind of makes me, kind of makes it feel like the, the Tennessee Aquarium in a way too. And here's the same enclosure. We got a little guy right here. That's swimming. Spotted. He's like, oh boy, maybe he has food. There's a leather leatherback tortoise. He's hiding in the the bottom. You see, he is a fly river turtle. That guy's just like I said. I, I love to watch. I love to watch the animals swim. But I, I still don't see. No, no two, no two uh, totes lock. Gallery entrance. Looks like it goes a little bit further. Okay. That feels so much better. And now we have <laughs> a cobra. A cobra on the doors. Oh, wow. Dude, check that out. If you all are curious to see what the Titanoboa skull looked like, that's that's what it looked like. <laughs> and it could extend its jaws quite a bit. Like <laughs> you, you didn't want to live several million years ago, I can tell you that for sure. That would that would not be uh, that would not end all that well. Looks like we've got some snake anatomy right here. The heart right here, the esophagus, the lungs, and the liver. Oh, very cylindrical. Well, the word wouldn't be cylindrical. Very long and, uh, very long. That's probably the best way to sum it up. It's like we're supposed to have some snakes in here, but I don't see anything. Looks like we've got a snake in the back area. Ooh, and he's pretty. Look at that color pattern. Let's see what he does. He's like, no. A person. I don't like people. At least that's what I get when I see him move. Huh. I wonder what's in this one. I don't see anything. Then again, the old saying, if it were a snake, it would have bitten me. I'm, uh, I'd imagine I'd be out in the woods and make the wrong step, and I would find him. We got a little danger noodle right there. Hiding in the branches. Or hiding in the, uh, in the corner right there. <laughs> he is a little guy. And this right here, this is a bow lens python. Don't really see him anywhere. Well. Oh, there he is. He's hiding up in the corner right there. He's, he's all bowed up. Looks like he's waiting for food. Or maybe sleeping. And in this big enclosure is something that you do not want to find in the jungle. That of course being the king cobra. So it'll raise its head, it'll spit at you, and it, 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 its venom is very dangerous. <laughs> you, you, you don't want to mess with it, although I don't really see it anywhere. <laughs> Looks like they've got a bunch of salamanders in there. I got the Okoy Salamander, Black Chin, Red Salamander, Cave Salamander. I don't see no Hellbender, but I don't think that you could ever fit a Hellbender in this enclosure. They're too big. And that right there is a big danger noodle. <laughs> this is an anaconda. And he is big. 
Although he looks like he's just kind of minding his own business. Looks like he's just kind of. But if you all are curious, this is what a uh, this is what the cousin of the Titanoboa looks like. Looks like there's some kind of frog in this one. Oh, like right here. There's that little guy right there. Oh, cool! They've laid they've laid eggs. He is one happy daddy. And right here is a golden dart frog. You don't want to step on one of those. <laughs> That's got a lot of venom. Oh, dude, they have a Gila monster. Now these things have quite a bit of venom as well. Now I clearly remember these from when I was a kid. So these might be the same Gila monsters that was around over 17 years ago. And these right here is a Rio Cocuna Sicilian. These things moving right here, they kind of look like sea lamprey, but they're not exactly sea lamprey. Oh, and this is a really cool room. You can create your own uh, life, I guess you could say. Just so very, very peaceful. I, I think it's time to head out. Okay. This was really, really cool. Check out this uh, this green air, this green room right here, filled with uh, the uh, turtles. I don't see anything, however, but they do have some really, really awesome displays. Gives you an idea of what what they look like. But real quick, let's check out the otter enclosure. It looks like this is sponsored by Clayton Homes. Look at the artwork in that. That's really, really cool. And here is the enclosure. All the nice, peaceful river area. It's like that little guy is ah, right there. But uh, I know there's another little guy hiding here somewhere. Oh well. Anyway, you guys, this is going to be another vlog for another day. Stay posted and stay tuned. Next one's going to be.